This is easily the single most important tip I can give you for making money in Power World, and honestly it's just something really cool that you can do in the game as well. The reasons you might need a lot of money is there's a trick you can do to get some really rare pals with some potentially great skills. You can see just how expensive they are, one pen king being 12,984 gold. Obviously you can capture these out in the wild yourself, but there are some reasons and ways that you can recycle this to be able to get some potentially really good pals, and we'll be covering that later in this video. Many of you have probably encountered these wandering merchants or even a pal merchant in the world. And the wandering merchants you can buy and sell items to, and the pal merchant you can buy and sell pals. Now you're going to be catching a lot of pals in this game, so being able to sell them to the merchant can net you a ton of money. But you don't want to have to search the world for these things, right? Well, there's one really important thing about these guys that you probably didn't know you can actually catch them. Now the pal merchants that I'm at right now are always in the same place. You can find them if you want to catch them for yourself. If you go from the plateau of beginnings, you can navigate down this road here and you can kind of make your way northeast across these little islands. And once you get to the Marsh Island Church Ruins, you can go to this little adjacent island here and you're going to be able to find a wandering merchant as well as a pal merchant. Now what we want to do is actually capture these. Now these bad boys are level 30, so you're going to want to use at least a gigasphere or a hypersphere if you have them. Now it might not look like it, but these guys are actually going to be protected. So once you start engaging in combat with them, some PDF people are going to spawn and they're going to try and protect this merchant. Now we don't want to kill this guy. We want to make sure that we do enough damage to where we can capture it. We're going to try and capture this pal merchant as well as the wandering merchant. Now you're going to want to be careful because the PDIF guards can actually shoot the pal merchant. So once they start getting weak, just pay attention to where you're standing and make sure that you're not standing in the line of sight of the pal merchant because these pal guards can uh, completely ruin everything if you're not careful. And just like that, we have captured a pal merchant, which is a human, and it's actually considered inhumane, so that's a thing. But we do also want to catch this wandering merchant here. Now that we have both, we want to head back to base. Now after you capture these, you're going to end up with a wanted level, and it, this can take a long time to be able to actually disappear. Running away doesn't seem to work really well, so what you can do instead is kind of go near a fast travel point, and then put away your pals, and just let them kill you, and then come back and pick up your stuff. Now once you've gotten rid of your wanted level, well, just head back to your base and go to your pal box management. Now you can add the wandering merchant to your pals at base and add your pal merchant. They'll begin wandering around the base and while they're not extremely useful, they do have some handicrafts so they will help you craft stuff, but it's only level one. Otherwise, they're pretty useless. But what you can do is you can actually talk to them and instead of having to wander through the world and trying to find them, you can have them at your base and you can buy and sell pals or you can buy and sell items. Now, buying and selling pals is actually incredibly useful. Well, selling pals are because if you're catching a ton of pals to level up, you can go here and you can sell all of them. You can make a ton of money from doing this. Just these low level pals alone are going to net me quite a few gold. You can see just from the extra pals that I had lying around, not even expensive ones, I can already get an extra 8,000 gold. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell that. In addition to being able to sell, you can buy pals here as well. And this pal list will cycle through different pals. And sometimes you can get ones with really great passive skills, which you can use for breeding or using as your main pal. There's also a chance that they will have better active skills too, so definitely make sure to check this every once in a while to see if they have some good pals for sale. You can also do the same thing with the Wandering Merchant to be able to sell all of your precious goods, and you can also buy different resources and schematics for them to be able to craft. Now there is one last NPC that I definitely recommend taming, and that is the Black Marketeer. This dude looks absolutely insane, and he deals in stolen pals or prohibited prohibited types. And if we go to buy stuff, you're going to realize that these are way more expensive. And this is one of the reasons why you're going to need a lot of gold in Pal World. Now, these can have better skills. They're going to be better pals here as well, like this Cryo Lynx. And they can get really expensive. You can also sell humans here if you so desire in trading in human flesh for money. And you can make a lot of money, but these are the pal merchants that we tamed. But honestly, capturing humans in general isn't really efficient. Now, so far, I've only found one of these black marketeers you're going to want to be careful that you don't kill them if we open up our map this is the location where it is the plateau of beginnings is here so you're going to need to follow the road down and navigate your way across these islands once again if you picked up this fast travel point at the marsh island church ruins this is where we tamed the merchant and the pal merchant we can continue our way across here there's another fast travel point here called the natural
Cultural Bridge, and you can make your way down through here, and this Black Marketeer is right here. There is another fast travel point here called the Eastern Wild Islands that you can get, but the Black Market Merchant is right here on the map. And when you capture or kill one of these Black Marketeers, they will drop a gold key, so if you're in need of any of these, this is one of the ways you can get them. There are multiple Black Marketeers on the map. I found two of them. There's one here that we're covering in this video. And if you go west from the desolate church, there's an abandoned mine shaft here where you can find another one. Now we're gonna go ahead and engage this one. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna wanna make sure we have hyperspheres for this. I don't believe gigaspheres are going to work. We're gonna try and do as much damage as possible, but this guy is very, very strong. So if you're in the early game, you might not be able to tame this thing at an early stage. This guy's got a freaking machine gun. Now, one of the things you can do is run away and separate his bird from him. So you can capture the bird first and then focus on the black marketeer afterwards because you really don't want to deal with both of them. You can line of sight the black marketeer so that way he can't hit you with the machine gun. All right, so yeah, we can just line of sight him with this poison arrow <laughs> and uh, see how it's doing. It's doing ticks of 254 right now. 99, let's go. 100. Name Dark Trader. He doesn't even have a real name when you catch him. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now, unfortunately, once you do capture him, he won't use his awesome machine gun when fighting, which is a bit of a bummer because this thing, I guess it would have been way too OP because if we go into our party here, you can see here that scaled down to level 31 has 25,000 HP, which is honestly just absolutely insane. When it's not scaled down, it had like 86,675 health. Pretty high attack power and all that stuff, but unfortunately doesn't use the machine gun when added to your party. And just like the Pal Merchant, you can add him to your base, and you can talk to him at any point in time to buy and sell contraband. Now, the Pals that the Black Marketeer will have will be way better than the Pal Merchant, and you can still sell anything to him to make all of your money, so in general, is better than the Pal Merchant itself. And what you can do is you can continuously recycle the Pals available. If you go to the pal box, swap him out of the pal box and respawn him, we can talk to him again and we go to pal contraband. And when we go to buy contraband, you're going to see that the pals offered are now reset. This is a great way to find rare pals with good skills or good passive skills. And you can do this as much as you want to be able to recycle the pals offered. You can do the same thing with the pal merchant. So it's a super easy way to find different types of pals. Like this Robin Quill is actually really great because I'm working on breeding up some Robin Quill. It's got the Muscle Head ability on here, which increases your attack damage by 30%. So I'm actually going to buy one of these because I'm going to use it for breeding. So yeah, it might be a little bit of a cheaty way to get some really awesome pals with some great passive skills like this War Sect has Ferocious on here. It does cost 18,000 gold though. The Ferocious skill is a 20% attack increase. And when you breed, you can actually stack passive skills onto babies to create really powerful pals. Anyways, that does it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.